Hey guys, it's Dana from the Dow of Dana, and today I want to talk to you for just a few seconds about life improvement, self-help, all of that good stuff that we all tend to gravitate toward to some degree or another, and it's really positive and really enhancing and really good and everyone's into self-betterment, but I want to take a second and say everything's okay in your life. If you are fortunate enough to be watching YouTube videos about feng shui and reading blogs and thinking about changes that you're making in your life, you are ahead of the curve because not a lot of people have the luxury of even being able to do that. I want to talk to you today about stopping and thinking about what is actually right in your life right now rather than just what is wrong. The danger in all of this life hacking, growth, self-help stuff is that some people just stop living and start focusing on everything that's wrong. It's the same thing with your house. You can go through it and find a ton of things that are wrong in your house when you start doing this whole feng shui process, but the idea is that you're always growing. There's always room to grow. It's totally good, and you don't have to force growth all the time. It will happen. You have to go live your life. I had a talk with a friend of mine and I said, if you were a life coach, what would you tell people to do? And she said, I just tell them to go live their life. I can't life coach anyone. And I was like, neither can I, except for in a sense, I do, um, but I don't. Because all I can do is recommend things that will be small shifts and small habits that you can incorporate into your life to make the living of it better, not to sit and sort of like contemplate life in too deep of a fashion so that you actually stop finding joy in it and stop living and focus only on what can improve and what can be better. We all wanna be better, we all wanna improve, but start right now by going through your home, thinking about your life, and think about everything that's right about it because there are a lot of things right. Like I said before, you are very fortunate to have the luxury to even think about such things. If you turn on the news, which I don't do often, but just enough to stay informed, you will see just how lucky you actually are. And when you start seeing all of the blessings in your life and all the great things that you have and the beauty of what's around you and the beauty of you for all of your greatness and your flaws, then you can make some changes, but they don't have to be the calling card of your existence. They don't have to be the thing that drives you. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Everything is great. So we're just tweaking things and making them more fun and better and brighter and more colorful, but that doesn't mean that they're super bad right now. So remember your life is pretty awesome the way it is right now and when you're making changes and doing all your growth and self-improvement and all the things that you love to do, don't forget that everything is awesome already. Even if it isn't perfect, it's awesome and you're blessed. And I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Have a great week. Bye.